So today I'm going to build a clamp like I need another clamp. So I'll show you how I make one and I'll show you some other clamps I have here. These clamps or vices, they're all good except I'm going to make mine so the jaws open wider. And one problem I do have with these clamps is whenever you put wood in there they always drop. So I like to make a nice base or foundation to hold the wood. If you have two pieces you put them in here I find it hard to hold and tighten them. So the other way is to make a, a base then you can put them on but each time you have to make a new base so my clamp will solve that problem so I will now glue the two pieces together So I'm just going to cut some end blocks. So these pieces can be glued together now. So now I'm going to cut the holes for the dowels. So I'm now going to attach one of the ends. So I've temporarily added these two blocks as guides so I can make markings for the holes for the clamp. So here I'm ready to put in the dowels, but since the holes are the same as the dowel, I will knurl the dowel so the glue, some of the glue can hold on. So I'll just take a file. Roll it. And there's something for the glue to hold on to.
here I'm drilling one of the holes for the sliding jaw. So now I'm going to tap in this nut. There, I'll finish it up on the vise. And there. For the handle, I'll be using just an eye bolt and it works works very well and if you really have need more leverage to tighten you can always stick something in to turn it so I've used them before and I, I like them a lot So now I can put most of it together. So now I just have to glue these two together and it'll be done. Just going to add some glue on here. So here I'm going to show you how I clamp two pieces here. There it is, nice and solid. See the thing's quite light and it clamps, clamps very hard. It's a little bit squeaky, but it doesn't matter. Very solid and it's nice and light. So I'm very happy with it. And I'm sure I'll find a lot of uses for it. <laughs> 